Welcome to this tutorial on ORCA setting. In the tutorial on first time with ORCA, we learn how to do initial setup of ORCA and open the text editor. Perhaps you might have found the speech to be a bit fast. Perhaps you wanted to hear shortcuts for all the items. Or maybe you needed some more assistance. We are now going to see how we can make finer adjustments to ORCA. So let's first start ORCA. Remember, we press ALT plus F2 to get to the run dialog and then enter ORCA. Welcome to ORCA. X Nautilus Desktop Train. ORCA has its own set of adjustable preferences. To access these settings, we will now press Insert plus Space. If you are a laptop user, you will press Caps Lock plus Space. In Space. Starting ORCA Preferences. ORCA Preferences. Tab List. General Page. As you heard, ORCA told us our current location which is the Preferences dialog. There are several sections or tabs in the Preferences. These are referred to by ORCA as Pages. So by default, we are on the General Page. You can use left or right arrows to find other pages. For example, I use the right arrow to find the Speech page. Right. Speech page. Well, there are many such pages which we will look at. So let's be at the general page. I will press the left arrow to locate it. Left. General page. Press the tab key. Tab. Keyboard layout panel desktop. Selected radio button. The first setting is the keyboard layout. If you are using a desktop, then the option desktop layout must be selected. These are radio buttons which you can navigate by pressing the up or down arrow. I will press down arrow to see what all options are available. Down, laptop, selected radio button, up, desktop, selected radio button. Remember the insert versus caps lock key which we referred to some time back? Well, as you know, laptops generally don't have a numeric keypad which desktops do. So there are a few commands which laptops can't do because they are related to numeric keypad. We are going to look at some very basic settings here. There are advanced settings which we will leave for future tutorials. You can press tab until you hear quit orca without confirmation. Tab. Quit orca without confirmation checkbox not checked. If you check this checkbox using spacebar, it means next time you quit orca, it will not ask you for a confirmation. A checkbox is something which you can turn on or off using spacebar, often called as toggling. So I will press the spacebar once to check the item or turn it on. Space checked. Press it again to turn it off. Space not checked. Generally, it's a good idea to keep this unchecked. Now again press tab till you hear show orca main window. Tab. Disable GKSU keyboard drum checkbox not checked. Tab. Present tooltips checkbox not checked. Tab. Show orca main window checkbox not checked. Again Orca said checkbox not checked. It means that this is a similar item like the previous one. If you keep it checked using the spacebar, then every time you start Orca, you will always have one active window showing the preferences and quit buttons. Press tab to find start Orca when you log in. Tab. Start Orca when you log in checkbox not checked. This option might be very obvious. You guessed it right. You can have Orca automatically start up when you log in. The next option we will tab to is for presenting objects under mouse. Tab. Speak objects under mouse checkbox not checked. This is an interesting feature. If you check this checkbox, Orca will respond by telling you what is there under the mouse pointer. As a beginner, I would not recommend enabling this. So these are a few important options in the general page. Now press tab button till you hear apply button. Tab. Help button. Tab. Apply button. Press enter to activate. Return. Orca user settings reloaded. Orca preferences. So we are done with the general page. Now keep pressing the tab button. You will come back to a point where Orca will tell you the page title. Tab. Cancel button. Tab. OK button. Tab. General page. Now hit right arrow once to go to the speech tab. Right. Speech page. The moment you press tab, you will hear the first item which has to be checked. 
Tom. Then I don't speak. Check box checked. If this is unchecked, the speech will be disabled, and that's not what we want. Press tab to find a drop down for speech system. Tom. Speech system. Speech dispatcher combo box. By default, it has speech dispatcher. Well, we will not touch this setting as it is for an advanced user. Similarly, press tab and find the drop down for speech synthesizer. Tab. Speech synthesizer. Default synthesizer combo box. Don't change the default option unless you want to use another synth apart from the default one. Press tab again and you will find the drop down which asks us what we want to adjust the settings. Tab. Voice settings. Default combo box. This includes many options, but for now we will set it generically, which is for default. Press tab again. Now you will find the drop down of all the different voices available for Orca. Tab, person, English, and combo box. You can use up or down arrow to select any voice you wish, but for now let's settle on the default English voice. Now press tab again. You will see the slider for speed adjustment. Tab, rate. Slider ported. Adjust it to have Orca speak faster or slower as you like. You can use the up or down arrow to change the settings. Up, thirty-nine. Up, thirty-eight. Up, thirty-seven. Press tab to find similar option for pitch. Tab, pitch. Slider five point zero. Set it to five point two. Down, five point one. Down. 5.2 and press tab to the volume. Tab volume slider 9.0. Adjust according to your choice. Up 8.9. Up 8.8. The next option we can press the tab for is for the amount of punctuation you would like Orca to speak. Tab punctuation level panel on. Selected radio button. I will just use the up and down arrow to see what are the available options. Up, all, selected radio button. Up, most, selected radio button. For example, if you are reading an article or a story, you don't want Orca to read all the dots and dashes. But if you are a programmer like me, then you want to hear everything. Right now, though, just set it to none. Down, all, selected radio button. Down, down, selected radio button. The next option is: Should Orca be detailed in everything, or should it be as precise as possible? Press Tab again. You will find the verbosity panel. Tab, verbosity panel, verbos, selected radio button. Just use the up and down arrow. You will find its brief and verbos. Down, brief, selected radio button. For a beginner, it's better to keep it on verbos. Up, verbos, selected radio button. The next few options are advanced enough, and we will just tap through them and locate two extremely important options. So we will tap till we locate the option Speak Object Mnemonics. Tab, table rows panel Speak row, selected radio button. Tab, progress bar updates panel enabled check box checked. Tab, frequency six six selected spin button. Tab, restrict to application combo box. Tab, speak blank lines check box checked. Tab, speak indentation and justification check box checked. Tab, speak multi case strings as words check box checked. Tab, speak object mnemonics check box not checked. This is again a check box. Checking this with the space bar will instruct Orca to also tell you the shortcuts for every widget. Space checked. Pressing on tab again will immediately take us to the option for setting tutorial messages on or off. Tab. Speak tutorial messages check box not checked. I will absolutely recommend you to check it if you are a first time user to Orca. So we will press the space bar on this one. Space checked. What this option does? Well, let's see it right away. Now keep pressing the tab button until you reach the apply button for this section. Tab, speak child position check box not checked. Tab, break speech into chunks between pauses check box checked. Tab, 
Fail by sentence combo box. Tab help button. Tab apply button. Press enter or space bar to activate it. Return. Orca user settings reloaded. Orca preferences. Now press tab till you hear Orca say speech tab. Tab. Cancel button. Alt C. To activate press space. Tab. OK button. Alt O. Tab. Speech page. Use left and right to view other tabs. Now did you hear it tell you what you can do to navigate? Press shift tab to move to OK button. Left shift OK button. Alt O. To activate press space. Again, Orca is telling you that you can use space bar to activate this button. And hey, do you feel comfortable with the speed? You are the one who set it now for your comfort. Anyways, hit space or enter on the OK button and the preferences dialog will close. Space. Orca user settings reloaded. X Nautilus desktop frame. Icon new layer pane zero items. To move to items, use either the arrow keys or type a head searching. To get to the system menu, press the Alt plus F1 key. So now, we know how to make basic adjustments to Orca. We will come back to the Orca preferences in later tutorials for other purposes. Till then, goodbye and have fun.